Tom Hawk DIY everyone, I'm Mike. Today we're taking a look at this Dell Latitude notebook computer. I'll be showing you how to replace the RAM on this computer. It's not terribly difficult, um, but I'll show you how to get the back off and uh, get it changed out. Okay, so you got your computer. A few things you need to do before you really get started. First, you gotta make sure your power's unplugged. So get the power cord off. This one, you've got to remove an SD card. Mine's already removed, but make sure if you've got a, an SD card in here or the little um, plastic filler that goes in, get that out. Once all your cables are disconnected, move over to the next step. For this step, you need to undo the screws. Now there are six screws here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I highly recommend getting a kit like this. I prefer working with um, something along these lines. It's included an affiliate link on Amazon where you can pick this up. It's got a lot of parts, great for working on small electronics, cell phones, computers, things like that. Here we go, we're gonna remove our screws. Okay, so with that, we should be able to remove this whole back case. You want to have your battery out before you're doing any work on your computer, right? We unplugged it, this is the rest of the power. So for replacing the RAM, you gotta get the battery out. Now to remove your battery, there's some screws. Depending on the model of battery, you may have one or two screws in here. This one's got a couple screws right there. I'm taking a picture of this with my cell phone as we go. Now on these screws, I'm gonna look carefully to see if they're different from the six that I just removed. If they are different, obviously do not want to, don't want to mix them up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pull this tab just like that, and then we're gonna get our battery out. So See how that came out right there? It slides, slides that direction. Pretty easy to take out. I will note this battery is a little bit flimsy. Um, you can kind of feel it move. So I want to be really careful with that that I don't bend it, set it down on a flat surface where it'll be nice and safe. All right, I bought some new RAM here. I'll include a link where you can pick some up from Amazon. That is an affiliate link. Sends a small commission my way that supports the mission of Tomahawk DIY. See, we've already got one eight gigabyte RAM card here. I'm putting a second one in. Okay, now to show you, see that? Just pull these tabs on each side. That's how you remove your RAM. So if you're putting in new RAM all together, you'll insert it just like that. Now ideally, you should be putting identical RAM in both slots. I was a little bit lazy. I ordered a separate um, 8 gig chip that is from a different manufacturer. This is Kingston, Kingston RAM. You, know, you should make sure you're getting some reputable RAM. And then we'll slide it in here. You can see all the pins that line up right here. And slide it in just like that. Push down, and there you have it. Went from eight to 16 gigs. Pretty easy. Once that's done, put your battery back, close up the cover. Okay, so remember how this thing came out. Got a side here that slides under. Watch your cords. Kind of clips back in place like so. We've got two screws. flush all the way around, you saw right here, it's kind of stuck up on mine when I first put it in. That'll cause you problems if you try to put the cover back on. Gonna put my screws back in, put that one kind of loose, gotten this one, tighten it down good and firm. Now tightening this one down all the way. Okay, and I'm ready to reconnect my cable. Checking for the alignment of all the pins. There we go. Okay, once it's aligned, down it goes. 
Okay, with that, I'm gonna check over my surface, make sure I haven't left any tools. More importantly, don't leave any extra screws lying around here. And this is also a great time. You can take a can of um, can of the spray. I don't have one with me, but you can spray through your fan and clean dust out here. I've got another video that actually shows cleaning dust out of out of the fan assembly, which really will build up over time, and that just slows down your performance. So check out that video. I'll link to it. Okay, with this cleared out, we're ready to close it up. So, remember where your tabs are when this came off. We got some little, a few tabs here, just looking around. I'm looking around, seeing where each of these tabs are. So I'm gonna put this back on, slide my tabs into place. tabs in place, put my screws in. I'm going to get them all um, put in loosely before I tighten them down. Alright, now I'll tighten them down, checking to be sure I'm sitting smooth all the way around. Okay, with that cover back on, I think we're done. So, there you saw how easy it was to replace the RAM uh, on this computer. If it was helpful, if it saved you some money, I'd certainly appreciate any tip you send my way, or you can click on the affiliate links uh, to Amazon or perhaps other website that uh, sends a small commission my way. That all goes towards supporting the mission of Tomahawk DIY, which helps people in some of Earth's most dire circumstances to build better lives. Learn more about that on the website. So leave a comment, let me know how your story was. Uh, like the video, share it with a friend that's having a problem with their, their uh, Dell computer, and uh, have a great day.